Okay, and now we're back. I'm sorry for that. Um, apparently there was no video when I was trying to stream, and now it's fixed. Okay, so I'll just restart. So anyway, uh, last night I attempted Verdugo and from memory and was actually doing pretty somewhat okay, but it was the problem of trying to um, get him to properly go behind the door how I needed him, and I thought it was RNG. Um, from just testing it and playing around with it, it's not RNG. It's timed. So what'll happen is he, he'll hit the door once, and then you wait a couple seconds, and then you just do this. And if you see him do some kind of attack, or he glitches through the door, you'll see it. You're, you've are you got him. And then you back away, and then you slowly open the door again. And he will, uh, he'll be trapped, and you can knife him. Now, the interesting thing about the knifing part is, if you hit him 20 times exactly he gets, like, either a critical hit or he gets, like, he reels back in pain and then you have to start over again. So, interesting part about that. Um, how much health he has? I've read he has about 900 hit points. And to put that in perspective, um, the knife does, from as I'm seeing or I'm told, it does about 1.3 or 1.4 damage, they figured out. And this varies based on which version of the game you're playing. Every version of Resident Evil 4 has a different amount of damage for the knife and some other things. Um, I think the Red 9 handgun in uh, the European release has a power of 6.5. To give an example, whereas I think every other version is like 6 point, or 5.6 or something. They ch But they changed it, bottom line. So... I have to hit him something like, God, I don't even know, a lot. I can't, okay, I couldn't even hit that. So, now I've also seen a video. I watched a video once, and I've never been able to replicate this. I've seen videos where they were able to get him to stay frozen like this forever. And I don't know how in the hell they did it. Because I'm, I'm replicating it right now. See? He didn't fucking stay frozen. They got him into the hallway and they just... They kept, like, going... Letting him attack them. And then they go behind him, slash a couple times. It was kind of weird. I don't know. So, I'm just gonna go for the strategy I know. And we'll go with that. I don't know if they've ever patched it, fixed it. I don't know what to tell you. This is going to open any minute. Alright, so if I fuck this up, I at least have another door to do it with. Alternatively, you could just run up and down this hallway doing this forever and, like, slowly knifing him. But I don't fucking suggest it. Alright, let's kick him. Also, the kick's power is 1.5 from what I've read. So, I don't know. To give an idea... Um, and also just to show it, um, I haven't upgraded the handgun. This is all the base stats, level one for everything. The firepower is 1.0, so it just does exactly one point of damage. So my knife does I, anywhere between 1.3 to 1.4, and the kick is 1.5 from what I've heard. And again, I don't know if that was PC version numbers or what, but from what I've heard, I think the GameCube knife is either the weakest... Or it's the best? I don't know. Off the top of my head. So I apologize. So now we're going to wait. I just need to hear him. He'll, I can hear him break it out of his ice from all the way down the hallway. He just broke it. So now he's going to be coming very quickly. And then I'll show off how to do this. Okay. He just did that? Alright, I failed. This is very time sensitive. Because if I'm off, he's going to break the door. Nope. 
No, I'm, too, I'm going too early. I have to pretty much do it as he's going to... As he's going to... No. See, I'm like a millisecond too quick. You'll see it when I get it, though. Come on. How am I going too slow? Or, I'm, yeah, I'm going too fast. That just seems off to me. Like, I don't know. It seemed like it was faster last night. There we go. So you see that. When you get that, you back up, and then you open this again. And he's going to do one of two things. This, which is what you want. Or he's going to jump away. And then you just back up again. So you do this until he decides to stop running. And this is random from what I've found. He, he'll do this for a while, or he'll just do it for couple minutes or a couple like about you know for however long that was so then you just back up you just wait and you open it again he will just do this indefinitely as long as you don't fuck this up you can't lose and like right now i'm i don't know like it feels it feels like it's i don't know my timing's off but there we go You do not want to kick the door open either. You do not want to kick that door open, by the way. Now, when you when you do this, you're going to think it's not hurting him. It is. It's just weird. Like, his skin, his exoskeleton or whatever is just extremely hard. But it is hurting him. Now, the other thing is, when he's frozen, he takes three times damage. For some reason, I was thinking it was way more than that, but it is actually three times damage. Now, if I'm just a second off, or not even, he will break that door down, and I have to be very careful. So, this is kind of stressful. But if he does, I still have another door to fuck around with him. But I kind of want to hold out as long as I can here. Okay, sometimes he just goes to the side by himself. And I was too slow, so he backed up. <laughs> See, this is... Oh my god, like if I'm just a second off... There we go. Jesus. Not to mention if I'm, like, a second off. Oops. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Close, close, close. Oh, God. Jesus, that was close. Oh, I didn't know how to kick that open. Okay, see, that's why you don't kick the door. Oh, my God. I was fucking up there. I did not want to be doing that. You also, if you get too far away or you're trying to reset him and you see the door move, you gotta kick it open or move as fast as you can to reset him. Otherwise it gets uh, kind of stressful. Alright, there we go. I'm not even keeping track of how many knives it is. I'm going to watch the replay after, and I'll count myself, because I am curious how many it takes. I didn't even count in my my test. I just did it, but it felt like a lot.
At least we're getting headshots on him. If I can get 20, you'll see him reel back in pain. So, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. See? Exactly 20. And I find that interesting that he does that. Like, it's almost like they, they if you were shooting him 20 times before, before anything happened, like if you can do it in like one setting, he will reel back in pain. So that's interesting. They did put a lot of effort into this game, like all the details and everything. It's really, once you look get down to the bare basics, it's kind of interesting how much effort they put into everything. Yeah, he wasn't doing it that time. Sometimes he will, sometimes he won't. And see, sometimes he doesn't stay behind the door that often. That was 20. All right. Nothing much else to say about this fight. Like I said, I said everything last video, and um, this is like one of three ways you can do it. Like I said, um, some people, I've seen him kill him with liquid nitrogen in one go. I don't know how the fuck they got him to do that, but it works. So, it's whatever. Oh, he's, oh shit, he was running. Shit. It works. The other way is to run up and down the hallway doing a quick time event. 
there's a Japanese video on YouTube of it where the guy is in barely a live condition where he's at like zero health and he manages to just run up and down the hallway just doing it. It's pretty fucking awesome. But <laughs> I don't have the nerves to do that. For, and it took it takes like two hours, though. You, you, like I said, one hit, one fuck up, you're done. So that's just that's just crazy levels of shit. I don't I not going to to even attempt. And then, of course, there's this method, which some... I don't know how the fuck people find this shit out, but... Uh, I'm not even hitting him, am I? No, there we go. Shitty, uh... Those were shitty turns. Or rounds, whatever you want to call them. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, I need to be a little quicker on that. There we go. Yeah, this is pretty much the fight. Um, like I said, I've got nothing else to really talk about for here, so... Every 20 hits, like I said... He will reel back in pain. I don't know what he's doing. I need him to reset. That was just weird. <laughs> there we go. He's reset now.
Oh, fuck. God damn it. All right, well, there goes door number one. Let's heal up. Oh, come on. How's he hitting me? Oh, God damn it. the hell he is. <laughs> I hope he's not in the ceiling. Actually, where is he? Um, where did he go? Okay, that's weird. I don't know where the hell he is. Doesn't... Is he stuck? <laughs> um... He's not dead. Because I still hear music. Oh, there he is. What the hell is he doing? He's not coming. What the fuck is he do? Did I break him? Um, I hit the things, but whatever. Oh, come on. See, now I'm just fucking up all over the place. He's gonna break that door down. Yeah, he broke the door down. This might be over, unless I can finish him with this. Might have to fucking restart this. God damn it. How did he hit? Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. That was going good. Oh. I wasn't ready for... I was trying to run to the door originally and kick it open before he broke the first one down, and I was too far away. So... What I'm going to do now is I'm not going to stand far enough away from the door. Or I'm not going to go too far into the door frame. So, but I will try for as long as I can to keep him in liquid nitrogen. But like I said, I've never seen, I've never been able to do it personally. Where I've been able to hold him in it indefinitely where I've seen some videos where they do. 
and I'm, I'm pretty much mimicking what they do exactly, and I can't pull it off. But I'm going off memory for the door trick with him because... Last night, I again thought it was it was like an RNG thing. Like it just he would randomly go to the side of the door. No, it's timed. If you open the door in a specific time frame, he will go to the side of the door every time. And whoa. Um, the other thing is too with this stuff here, it can't hurt you. Once you dodge it, you can run right into it. It's not an actual thing. You can't shoot it. You can't whatever it. So just dodge and run. It won't hurt you. See? Doesn't hurt me. Alright, let's try this again, because the one video I saw, the guy had him... Pretty much, like, right... Hang on. It was right in this little area here. Right here. Where he was just running up and down. So I'm gonna try that. But like I said, I don't know how the hell he kept him in liquid nitrogen, because it seems to be random. Really? How did he hit me? I was far enough back. See, he just breaks right out of it. I don't... I don't know. I'm probably doing something wrong, or it's just RNG, but... Alright, that door's gonna open in a sec. Come on. Just open. Oh, he decapitates. Come on. Fuck you. Ugh, I'm just timing everything tonight. Alright. Try this one more time. But if you wanted to, like I said, if you want to try this yourself with the liquid nitrogen strategy, I would say watch the video first. How, how the guy does it is they run behind him, and they slash him twice, and he'll turn around, and then he'll try to swipe him, and they just keep doing that over and over and over, and he never comes out of it. But, like, I've seen him come out of it pretty quick, and then there's other times he just stays in it for a bit. But this video was something like five minutes, and he stood in it for all five minutes, and just let the guy knife him dead. I've never been able to do it myself. So... I'm assuming it's something like you have to trick him into keep moving around to, like, baiting him to attack you. Like, if his AI is like, I can actually go for an attack, I'm gonna go for the attack. But, if I can't, if I'm, if I'm not able to hit him, I'm gonna try to break free of this shit. That's what I imagine his script is written like. So, if, if, if you're constantly in front of him or something to make him think I can attack him, his script's gonna go for it. But for if at any time his script's like, no, don't go for it, break out, then he breaks out of it. That's my understanding. So, let's see how this goes.
How is he hitting me? Yeah, I knew he was going to hit me there. See, and then he just breaks out of it. So, fuck, man, I don't even know. Oh, come on, really? Fucking door. I'm not going to fuck with him here. I just want to go get set up. Wait, what? How did he get over here? What the fuck? Okay, I've <laughs> never seen him teleport. Where the fuck is he? He's iced. Oh, this run's already going great. Where the hell is he? Alright, he broke free of his ice. Okay. Now we're set up. There we go. Okay. It begins. Fuck. Way too... too late. Oh, he's doing it. Okay. I don't know how many slashes it takes to kill him. I haven't ever counted. It's a lot. Um, according to the things I've read, he's got about 900 hit points. I think it's more than any boss in this game. But he takes three times as much damage when he's frozen. So they intended for you to freeze him and shoot him. So technically he'd only have 300 hit points. So yeah. 
I think when I ta when I counted how many knife slashes it was for the guy with the ice strategy, it was something like 350 slashes, give or take. It was a lot. This part's kind of time sensitive. Oh, he's doing it. Okay. If you don't get, if you don't open the door immediately, he will not be behind it. So you have to be quick, and you got to be careful. You don't kick open the door either in your haste. Since you know most of the time anybody playing this will just kick open doors, so they have to train themselves here to not kick the door open. That was 20 hits. Every 20 hits, like I said, um, will stun him. So that volley was 20 hits. It wasn't like a, my 20th hit on him since his last leg like, paralyzed. It was just that volley was the 20th. This is probably the one time I wish I was doing the Dipman glitch, just to speed up the knife swings. But... I 
I like how it looks like I'm doing like five lashes across his face. Oh god, no, 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 no. <laughs> that was weird. Do not want that happening. That was a little too fucking... Oh god, no, 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 no. Okay. <sighs> Jesus Christ. See, if I'm a little slow with opening that door, things get fucked up pretty quick. Oh god. I just see, like, the knife slashes. Like, it looks like, like, five, like, little graphical slashes across his face. I don't know if you can see that. Or it's off to the side sometimes, too. Alright, that was a little too quick for me. I didn't expect him to be that fast in recovering. This is nerve-wracking because, like I said, you have to time this, and if you're off, he's going to break that door down.
In many ways, this guy really does feel like the final boss of the run. Sadler is much, much easier. So is Salazar. Yeah, sorry I'm not really talking a whole lot, but I'm just trying not to fuck this up. And I, like I said, I have nothing else to really say about this guy. I just, I'm hoping I can do this. That's what I was worried about. You, I gotta be careful with that. Because he will hit the door immediately if I fail to get him to be trapped behind it. And that's what scares me. That's why I'm trying to be as fast as I can with it. <sighs> okay. Oh, he's doing it. Okay.
Oh, God. Wait, what? I kicked the door open. F oh, fuck you. Oh, shit. All right, get to the next door. Ah. Oh. God damn it. <sighs> that was bullshit. I had the door kicking animation going and everything. That was like a fraction of a second off, not even. You know what it might have been? It might have been because I kicked the door. Maybe that's why, because I did do the kick animation. I didn't do the open door, because maybe that's how he got it. So that maybe was my fuck up. I really wish how many t I knew how many times I've hit him already. I haven't been counting.
like I said, for anyone just joining, this is um, this is time like sensitive. I have to hit the button to open the door. It's after he knocks. I have to do it at a certain frame, and if I fuck this up, he's gonna break the door down. Too soon. Way too soon. Wait, is he dead? Oh my god, thank fucking hell. Holy shit. <sighs> oh, oh my god. Oh. I'm definitely going back and checking how many fucking times it takes to knife him after this. Oh my god. Oh. oh my god, that was stressful. Oh, my fucking nerves. Okay. Well... Crown Jewel, and the number one enemy of zombies in any Resident Evil, as always, is a fucking door. So, zombie versus door, door always wins. Oh my 
God. I can't. Oh, God. That took fucking forever. I'm curious how many fucking knife slashes it took, though. Let's see. All right. Uh, why do I have jack o' ammo? Okay, on to the mines. Oh, God. How long have I been recording? Hang on a minute. An hour and seven minutes. All right. Maybe I can get to the El Gigante or Higante. 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 El Higante. That's how you say it. Times two. Because I won't be using the, the trap door into the lava to kill them. I'm going to kill both of them. That's not the end of the chapter? How long is...